Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And we all know the Metropolitan Police is awful. It's already in special measures, but now the truly horrendous nature of what is going wrong has been laid out and is made public. It is an organisation that is failing. It is too busy being woke and virtue signalling and not actually doing the job that these people are paid for. Catching criminals, stopping crime, that kind of thing. So now we're going to take a look at this article, which kind of explains where it has gone wrong and what it is failing to do. And heads must roll. So, headline says, Scotland Yard's failures laid bare, from inadequate responses to 999 calls to allowing 69,000 crimes to go unreported. The watchdog raised serious concerns over the Met Police's ability to protect the public. And of course, they can't protect the public. They are often the cause of the problem. They are the criminals themselves, from the R of women to the M of women to being corrupt to handing children back to those that would do them harm we know this the the, the sa should we say the abuse that was given to very young people and the police were conniving and part of it we cannot trust them they are useless and that's assuming that it's not deliberate where it is deliberate they are criminals themselves the, uh, the, they, they have this maintenance, this omerta, where no one ever speaks, no one rings, uh, you know, rings up to the press and says this is going on and that's going on. There's no whistle blowing, no one dobs the other one in it, no one grasses, you know, snitches get stitches and all that. And yet this level of criminality and terrible behaviour is allowed to continue. And on top of that, they're just plain useless. But the police watchdog, anyway, getting back into it, the police watchdog has raised serious concerns about the Met's performance after it failed in six out of nine areas. Now, remembering the Met is already, already in special measures because it's so awful. Hard-hitting new report comes today after Sir Mark Rowley took over as the commissioner of UK's biggest farce. Report found crime recording should be trustworthy, but isn't. Uh, but instead, more than 69,100 offences have gone unrecorded because they cannot deal with it, because sometimes it would be a case of reporting on themselves. Uh, so His Majesty's Inspector, it seems odd saying that, doesn't it? His Majesty's Inspector of Constabulary and Fire and Rescue Services today demands Scotland Yard make urgent improvements in a hard-hitting new report, just eight days after Sir Mark Rowley took over as the Commissioner. It's already demanded this. It's demanded this twice before. And twice before, it has not happened. What is this? Third time lucky? It ain't going to happen. Not unless you have a root and branch change. Every single policeman, every single policeman in the Met needs to be fired. And then they need to be lined up again and told to reapply for their jobs. And when they reapply, they have to go through a full and complete interrogation, criminal background check, financial check, everything we need to weed out the corrupt the corrupting the criminal those with mental attitudes that would be as we say predisposed to criminality the psychopaths the sociopaths the police is full of them and they need to be got rid of you're not going to have a police force fit for purpose until you filter out shall we say that element Inspector of Constabulary Matt Parr said he was particularly concerned about how the Met treated the victims of crime. Well, often it's the Met causing the victims, isn't it? He told the BBC Radio Force programme, I think it's got worse over the period I've been looking at the Met, which is about five or six years. It certainly has got worse. Since our last report in this area, we think performance has declined since then. One of the Met's fundamental problems is that it needs to get that lower level leadership right and the upper level, I mean, come on, shit rolls downhill um, and have a low tolerance of poor standards. Inexperienced and new staff work better when they have strong guidance and that's not happening. It's certainly not. It's certainly not happening. So here's the areas it's failed in. Responding to the public, inadequate. Investigating crime, it says requires improvement. It barely happens. If you get burgled and phone the police, you'll be given a crime number. You won't actually see a policeman. Uh, protecting the vulnerable requires improvement. Well, no, it doesn't protect the vulnerable. It abuses the, the vulnerable. 
Uh, managing offenders requires improvement. Well, they shouldn't be managing offenders. The police should not be managing offenders. If someone's offended, they should be in prison until they're not going to offend again. And I think the American system of three strikes and you're out is perfectly good, except I would have two strikes and you're out. You know, we all make a mistake. Fine, you make a mistake, you do your time, you're out, depending on what the crime is. You make again, no, you go, and you'll never let out, and you never, ever commit another crime. Uh, supporting the workforce. I don't know what that means. Does it mean the people who actually do the work in this country or looking after themselves? Because I'm very surprised that if it's looking after themselves, I'm surprised that re requires improvement because I'm pretty sure the police look after themselves very well. Thank you very much. Uh, and strategic planning requires improvements. You mean there's planning? They planned this stuff? They're saying that the things that happen in the police has been planned for? Good God. It's awful. Anyway. His report found crime recording should be trustworthy, but instead more than 69,100 offences are going unrecorded by the force each year. At least that's only the ones they know about. With victims of DV or those suffering long-term abuse, such as stalking, controlling and coercive behaviour or harassment being ignored. Yeah, of course they are. That's not, that's not going to earn them money and points. That's not a sort of thing that, you know, looks good. No, no, no. Stopping drivers. That's easy. We can get that. Oh, yeah, that's great. Because that's easy. We can sit in a car, drink our coffee, eat our donuts and just wait. Don't want to get out and walk anywhere, you fat ass lazy bastards. Uh, not all reports of R are completely uh, correctly recorded. And in some cases, it's taken more than three days for crimes to be logged, leading to delays in R investigations and victims receiving support. Now, with R, and I have to use that term, but you know what I mean, it's important that the victim is seen immediately. Because you need to get everything, you know, taken from her. I'm assuming it's her in this particular occasion. Yes, there are male R's. Uh, but you have to get in there under the fingernails, get the clothes, get any fluids. This need to be done. Three days later, no girl is going to sit there for three days letting that sit on her. So the police are actually enabling and helping those that commit the R. Inspectors believe the force is turning a blind eye to many incidents of antisocial behaviour because it's hard. With just one out of the 21 calls for victims it reviewed leading to a crime being logged. Yeah, if you are a vulnerable person sitting at home and there's a gang of kids outside and you call the police, they're not going to be interested in that. And your life is misery and you, your property will be damaged and you could be hurt. But you've called the police. You expect something. You're paying the taxes. And those lazy bastards are doing fuck all. Eating donuts. That's all they do. The police need chopped from the top. And they need they need proper, proper leadership. They need to be told if they don't sort this out, they get fired. They lose their pensions. They lose their jobs. They lose everything. Let's Let's put the fear into the police. Let's put the fear into police not responding. Let's not put the fear into the police responding because we're pretty scared of the police now because we know if they turn up, chances are you are the one nicked, even if you're the one who's the victim. Um, the force currently answers 60, less than 64% of 999 calls within 10 seconds against a national target of 90%. It also sees 36.6% .6 of calls to the non-emergency 101 completely abandoned compared with a goal of less than 10%. Abandoned. The goal for an abandonment should be less than 1%. There may be a reason. There may be a reason. It should be less than 1%. No call should be abandoned. Every call should be answered. Shoddy investigations by inexperienced detectives are also letting some criminals off the hook, the report found. Well, say it ain't so. And I'm going to say shoddy investigations is not the worst of it. Sometimes deliberately mishandled investigations with little backhanders flying around. Let me tell you, I don't doubt that. They are corrupt. They are corrupt as frig. The latest damning incident comes after Commissioner Cressida Dick was forced to quit in February, not a day too soon, following a torrid year of scandals which saw the M of Sarah Everard by one of her officers. The force being branded institutionally corrupt by an independent inquiry and Met officers jailed for photographing bodies of M victims. And not like forensically taking them, snap, 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 for the, for the use of that. No, them sitting there doing selfies over the deceased. 
and we're paying these people and giving them pensions, we should be jailing them. Mr Parr said the report raises serious concerns about how the force responds to the public and the level of understanding the force has about its demand and its workforce. The police don't care about the public. Police only care about themselves and how much they can rake in through their corrupt means. I can't go on with it. I can feel the anger rising. But what we've got is, and there he is, look, the new guy, the new boy. Does he look like the sort that's going to arrest anybody? I mean, honestly, he's going to be as useless as the previous one. Let's face it. They're all useless. The leadership is useless and everyone below the level of the leadership is corrupt. The police needs, the Met Police specifically, needs to be completely, re well, reborn. You know, um, I don't know if it's even savable. I honestly don't know if it's savable. But we shall see what's going to happen. But let's see how... He's a day into it, two days into it. He's been given this. It's his response. But I bet nothing will happen. Anyway, I'll come up and we'll round off. Nothing will ever change until heads roll. And this new commissioner needs to sit there with his very senior officers, his command officer level um, around the table, and tell them that they need to do this, this, this and this. And give them, let's say, 90 days. Three months. And if it isn't sorted by, say, Christmas, that'll take it up to Christmas. If it isn't sorted by Christmas, tell them to go off, enjoy their Christmas holidays, and then not come back. Seems fair to me. If they're not capable of doing the job, we shouldn't be paying them. And if he'd done that, and he said, you know, this threat was in the air, that these guys have to sort their act out, then maybe these guys would sort their act out. And their, you know, their superintendents below them would then pass down the message and they would act properly. And the inspectors below that and the sergeants below that and all the way down to even the newest raw green recruit would suddenly have the message that what has happened is not going to happen anymore. What they were used to is going to change their criminality, their corruption, their laziness and their ineptitude are all going to be things of the past. And them that don't like it, well, they can get busy looking for another job. But honestly, who would have them? Anyway, thanks for listening. If you like what you hear and see on the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications of future output. Leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, don't trust a policeman. And goodbye.